Hey guys, I'm Casey Hollins. It's Monday, June 17th, and here's what you need to know. Danny Green absolutely owned Sunday night. He put on a show yet again from Beyond the Arc, draining 6 of 10 from the three-point line and breaking Ray Allen's record for most three-pointers made in a single series. Ray Allen's face really says it all. But Allen also did some record-breaking, becoming the first player to have two four-point plays in one game. What's the takeaway from this game? Danny Green is an impossible problem to solve. Throne managed nobly deciding to become an unstoppable force, and there's really little you can do. Who would have thought Green would be here a few short years removed from being the awkward guy dancing at LeBron's birthday party? In early morning basketball news, Tim Lewicki, the brand new CEO of MLSE, has fired Alvin Williams. Williams has been associated with the Raptors in some way, shape, or form for decades, and it's pretty impossible to argue his commitment to the organization. To be honest, I still haven't made much sense of the decision to oust him, apart from seeing it as an interesting way to really cut ties with the Raptors' past. Moving on, the U.S. Open wrapped up yesterday, and England's Justin Rose came away victorious. He becomes the first Englishman to win the U.S. Open since Tony Jacklin in 1970. He was trailed yesterday by someone also celebrating a 43-year milestone, Phil Mickelson, who led coming into Sunday, celebrated his 43rd birthday with a second-place finish at the Open, calling the day a heartbreak. You can't really blame him. Once a bridesmaid, always a bride. There you go. Flop shot. Funny, but true. Last but not least, the Toronto Blue Jays held on for an uplifting win against the Rangers yesterday. After their 7-2 win, they head home having won 8 of 10. Sportsnet's Mike Wilner thinks the Jays might finally be turning the corner on their journey to get back above 500. And if you're a Toronto sports fan in need of some optimism this morning, I suggest you read his column on sportsnet.ca. That's all you need to know, but stay tuned later for Say What.